Hello everyone, welcome back. I am so excited to share all of the 2023 releases that I am most excited for. Um, I have scoured lists, I have gone over Goodreads, I've looked up my favorite authors, and these are the books that I have found. So this is definitely not an extensive list. There's more to add in the future for sure, but these are the ones that I could find. Some of them I know like a lot of details about and others I don't, but I will be sharing when they're releasing and the cover and we'll go from there. Okay, I have one release for January. It comes out January 3rd and it's called Critical Threat by Lynette Eason. So this is the third book to the, I think it's something measures. Anyways, Life Flight was the first book something measures extreme measures series i don't know this is the the, the the this is the third book though and it follows a character named grace so you have met her um in the other books so super excited about it i have really been enjoying this series i really liked life flight really liked crossfire and this is the third book so that is the only release for january that i found that i'm interested in so on to february okay this one comes out february 14th and i've never read from this author but just the cover the title sounds right up my alley so it's called daughter of eden by jill eileen smith i've seen this author around i know that she does have books that like i think are biblically based or like biblical fiction um, but this one's called Daughter of Eden. I think it follows Eve. Like, I think it's, like, fully set in the Garden of Eden with Adam and Eve. And that just sounds... I, I would love to read about that. And I'm just very curious about this book. And I for sure want to read it. So really looking forward to that. And I love the cover. Okay, there were no March releases that I saw that I was interested in. So moving on to April, I've got two books. The first one comes out April 11th. And it's The Words We Lost by Nicole Deese. I am so excited for this book. Yeah, it's Nicole Deese's next like full length novel and I can't wait. Um, I actually have no idea what it's about. I haven't read anything about it. I want to go in blind, but really interesting cover. It tells me some things. I don't know. It's like, I just want to know. I'm curious. I can't wait. I'm for sure going to pre-order this book because seriously, yeah, excited. Okay, also coming out on the 11th is called Authentic Worship by A.W. Tozer. Now, I'm not that informed about Tozer. I didn't know he was still alive. Okay, and maybe, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, this is a book that is releasing. So yeah, Authentic Worship, um, I do think it's about like intimacy with God and how worship is a part of that. Um, really excited to see more about it. Um, it's an A.W. Tozer. I've only read one book by him, I think, and it's The Pursuit of God. Was really impressed, liked the writing and everything, so this just sounds really good. Next, May is mysterious. Becky Wade. Okay, she is coming out with a new book next year, and she's already, like, talked about what the series is going to be about. It's going to follow Brothers, I'm so excited. And normally her new releases come out in May. Now, nothing has been announced. I can't like find anything anywhere, but like she has talked about it on Instagram. So let's just save a spot in May for Becky Wade because I'm pretty sure she's gonna have a new book and I can't wait. It'll probably be announced like pretty soon here, but yeah, now we already know it's coming. Okay, May 2nd. This one is a little bit outside of the comfort zone, but here we go. It's called The Swindler's Daughter by Stephania, Stephania H. McGee. Never heard of this author, but the cover intrigued me. I read what it was about and I was like, oh, okay, this plot could work. So it is historical, um, but you follow this woman who she didn't know her dad and then he passes away and she like inherits this business that he had but it turns out the business was about swindling and so now she's like in the crossfires of that and she like has to deal with it and i don't know it sounds interesting enough that i was like oh i would add that to my list like definitely will be curious about reviews for this one when it comes out and possibly if i can get an arc for it i would read it but anyways yeah let me know about this author if you've heard of her and then the last one for May is coming out May 9th, and it's called Introvert by Design by Holly Girth. And 
that title alone was just like introvert by design yes please like that just I felt I felt seen okay um I am a, I am an introvert but I can like be an extrovert when I need to be but it drains me so bad okay so anyways uh, this is gonna talk about how God specifically designed introverts for a reason and that we are like important in this world of course I think I feel like there's more introverts than extroverts that exist in the world but I don't know um I just don't know a ton of extroverts but it's probably because I'm an introvert and so I like I'm flocked to my kind you know <laughs> I don't know but anyways um I just think it's gonna be a good book and I definitely want to read it okay next book coming out in June this comes out June 27th it is called the best summer of our lives by Rachel Hawk I don't think I've ever read anything by Rachel Hawk. I know she's like fairly popular. I think she has like a princess series and that's great. But this book, um, first of all, cover intrigued me. I was like, ooh, I like summer. And then I do forget what it's about. I think, I don't know. But anyways, interesting enough that I would want to try it. Um, I just have never really tried her books, but this one looks really good. And it was on the list that Bethany House um, posted so I was like oh yes interested okay July coming out on the 11th um all three books that I'm going to share come out on the 11th so the first one is Cold Pursuit by Nancy Mel Ooh, I am excited about this one the cover first of all she likes to write like dark things you know her covers are dark and like spooky but anyways this is a new series um I'm hopeful that I will actually follow along this time because I tried or I intended to follow along with her Nightfall series, but I think I feel like all three books came out very close together. Like you didn't have to wait a year for each one, or maybe you did. I just I'm losing it. I don't know. Um, but yeah, anyways, this book I would really like to start from the beginning and like read as her books come out. So yeah, this is the first one. Again, probably follows some kind of law enforcement thing, but I'm interested. And then the next book, this one sounds really good too. So it's by Angela Hunt. It's called The Woman from Lydia. And first of all, cover intrigued me once again. Um, but I just, I don't know, something about it is calling to me. Like, ooh, I think I'm going to like that book. I do think it's biblical fiction. And I've never read anything by Angela Hunt, but I would love to. I do know that she writes like good books from what I've heard. Like she has good reviews on her books. So I hope I like them but yeah this is her new release um, July 11th and definitely interested okay and then the last one coming out on July 11th is Hello Stranger by Catherine Center I'm so excited for this book Catherine Center she might be my favorite secular fiction author I don't know and I really like the new cover design she's going with like this matches um, the bodyguard uh, cover so like cute font and like animated cover I'm I'm in for it I really am excited um yeah so this is called Hello Stranger know nothing about it but I'm sure it's gonna do pretty well and so I hopefully I can get my hands on it soon and and read it and so yeah I I'm just really happy to have this author because the only thing that she writes a lot into her books is language but otherwise they're clean romances that just talk about life in such a profound way. Um, I just love reading about it. Okay, lastly, in August, um, both of these books come out on the first. First one, The Love Script by Tony Shiloh. Yes, we are all so excited for this. Her To Win a Prince duology just took booktube by storm. It It's so good. Her writing is so good. The way she includes faith in her books is so good. And she's just like such a great author now I'm so glad that she's writing and she has like a new voice that we get to read books from so really looking forward to that um so yeah the love script don't know anything about it but really cute cover and I just I think I'm gonna love it um if it follows the same kind of writing style that her other books have then it's gonna be great then the last one is Countdown by Lena Eason and this is the fourth and final book I think to that Extreme Measures series um Sorry about that. Um, yeah, so the third book, Critical Threat, comes out in January. Fourth book comes out in August. And I think that'll be the last book. And then she can start something new. But yeah, I definitely would like to read um, the rest of these books because um, they're really good. I like her writing a lot. So 
Yay! Okay, those are all of the new releases coming out that I have found so far um, that I'm excited about. I know there's going to be a lot more that pop up and especially like for the latter half of next year, but I just, there was nothing on the list yet. Um, so yeah, more things will be announced and I'll probably gather a new list and make another video a couple months into the year. But yeah, these are just the books that I wanted to share for now, um, just to get you excited and hyped about them. And if you want to pre-order pre any of them, I know that helps the authors a lot. Um, so I'm definitely pre-ordering Nicole Deese's and we'll see what other ones I pre-order. Probably Tony Shiloh as well. But yeah. Okay, guys, that is everything. Thank you for watching. Bye. Look at these guys.